Okay, we made some progress. Uh, if you were following, I was having a hard time getting this this uh, part of the synchro ring off, and the, I couldn't use my bearing be the bearing puller before because the counter shaft, I mean the idler shaft, was in the way. So I discussed it with some folks on the forums, and it was recommended to go back and try this again, which is what I did. But I realized I had to get that shaft out of the way. So to get that shaft out of the way, you have to remove or at least loosen the bearing retainer plate, which is this thing right here. Because that's that's what captures it. I'll show you what I mean. There's this slot right there that fits inside that slot here, this thing here. So you don't get that thing out of the way. This ain't coming out. This ain't coming out. You're not gonna get this bearing separator here. Now getting that bearing separator, that was a real mofo there. Now here's the deal. These damn torques. That one's even started to get jacked. I'm, I'm probably going to replace them. One of them looks pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. At first, I had the regular Torx tool, and it started to tear up the head of this thing. So I go, stop. There's the one that's not torn up. I'll have to get another one of these, obviously. Hope I can do that without too much problem. But your best friend, when it comes to doing this kind of stuff, forget any kind of regular hand tool. What you really need is this guy right here. This is a handheld impact driver. This is some cheap version. I got a much better Craftsman, but it's a half inch drive. And I couldn't find a Torx bit that used a half inch. I don't know what I did with it now, but maybe it's still on here. Yeah. So basically what you do is you put this on onto the impact driver. You spin this thing. You gotta spin it one way it tightens, one way it loosens. Put this in position. Get the I repositioned the, the bearing plate so that it was always down close to the, to the vise. I don't want to be banging up here and you know getting like a re, like a movement from the plate. I want to get as close to the vise as I can, unless I, I don't think you could bend this thing to try, but you know what I mean. And you basically just go to town on it with this bad boy. Just knock the living crap out of it, man. I mean, hit it hard. Don't miss. You don't want to hit your shafts and anything like that. That's why I had all these extensions was to get me out away from things so I couldn't possibly miss, not to mention your hands. But you give that thing a, a few good solid wax with this, with this, uh, I don't know what this is, five pound, uh, I don't know, four pound, that four pound sledge there, the BFH, you hit that thing with the BFH on a Torx and it will come out. It may not come out any other way. And the good thing about doing it this way is it drives the Torx bit into the socket really hard so it doesn't, I mean, if you just use some kind of handheld device like a regular ratchet, it might tend to want to work its way out as you're tightening it, which can, which is what started to happen and started to tear up that one I showed you. With this method, not only are you twisting it, but you're jamming that thing in there hard. So don't attempt this if you don't have one of these. And I don't even know a regular impact driver would do it as well. This has got one whack, just a tiny fraction of a turn, which is all you want, and you can really control it, and it works really well. But anyway. Before I continue on, my goal here is I don't want to just tighten this thing up because it's not a perfect fit behind this retainer. The whole size that's cutting this bearing doesn't fit, kind of bites it wrong. So now I've got to go back to Harbor Store again and I'm going to get me some washers and basically fill this void so I can really tighten up this bearing without putting any stress, without biting into the shaft behind it and risking some movement like this because it's just not right. If I get this thing clamped super tight together so it acts as one unit, I think I have a pretty good chance of hooking up my bearing puller with some olive thread. Uh, sorry, let's clean that a little bit. With this, goes into here, and then pull it out. The uh, regular stuff they, that came with the puller just wasn't long enough. It didn't, it didn't go back enough. So I'm, hopefully, I don't know what the tensile strength on that stuff is, but hopefully it's not a, uh, it's not so low that it can't pull this out. I know that the stuff that came in the bearing kit, the bearing pull for this, looks to be hardened. I just don't have enough of these things. I guess I could go buy another kit, buy more of those, right? Why not? But anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm feeling really good about the situation now. I think we'll get some more progress real soon. I just bought a hundred dollar special uh, long reach puller. Maybe I won't need that anymore. That's okay. There's no such thing as having too much tools. Later.